Hey, it's Joel, the 3D Printing Nerd. We're going to review the Form Futura Carbon Fill Filament on this video. You ready? Go. Ah, uh, welcome back. So I was contacted by Form Futura and they said, hey, if we send you a couple rolls of filament, could you review it? And I was like, sure, why not? I could do that for you. They're like, what do you want? I was like, I don't know, what's cool? What's cool, what's cool? Hey, how about that carbon fiber stuff? And sure enough, they sent me a roll of this stuff. This is the Form Futura carbon fill. Um, it's a decent filament. And, uh, well here, let's, let's open it up. All right, here's the box. We freed it from the plastic. Lift stuff like this, and then don't need that anymore. Here's the filament. It's encased in plastic as well to keep it airtight. Let's take that off. First thing you notice, it has no smell. Obviously when you have a filament and you, you have the silica gel, it says don't eat. Um, I agree, you should not eat this stuff. It's wrapped really well. Uh, it has a very similar clear spool uh, to Color Fab. Uh, let's see, on the label, diameter 1.75 millimeters. The material is the carbon fill, and that's a trademark term, color black. The print temperature, 230 to 255 degrees centigrade. So you gotta, you gotta print this hotter than PLA. Uh, let's see, take that off. Um, it has, obviously it has some carbon fiber chunks in it, I would assume. Uh, uh, it's, got a, it's got a good feel to it. It feels almost, almost rope-like. It has that quality. Uh, boy, there's a whole bunch of it in here. Let's see how well, let's see. All right, it's also very brittle and that makes sense. We're not dealing with a, a full plastic. We've got um, we've got carbon fiber within it. Uh, I think the carbon fiber filaments within this material mean that it's going to it's going to make it more rigid, but it's not going to act like carbon fiber and increase the structural uh, the structural ability to hold a load because it doesn't have these long fibers branching out to, to, to increase the capacity for which it can hold. I think, I think it's just, it just makes it a lot more firm and sturdy. Um, well, this is it. I already printed some stuff with this. Here, let me get it for you. The first thing I did and the first thing that I, <laughs> I usually always do is I print poop. This is my three inch poo emoji cookie cutter. It's a simple model, and I, I, I print this just because I've printed this in ABS, I've printed it in PLA, I've printed it in bamboo, I've printed, I've printed this in nearly everything, so I, I have an idea of what it, what it feels like, and, and how it, and how it kind of, I don't know, what it's like to touch it. And it's this, this is printed in the Form Futura carbon fill, and it's very, very sturdy. It's very stiff. It doesn't, it still has some flex on a, on a sheer wall here, but overall the piece itself is is very very stiff and not uh, not willing to give in to to being to being pushed around. Um, I don't think I would cut cookies with this because I don't know if I want carbon fiber flakes in my cookies. However, um, it works as a good a good test print. Um, when printing, uh, the walls the walls are good. It looks like it looks like I don't know if you could see it, but there's some there are some carbon fiber bits that are on the wall itself. Um, it's a little rough to the touch. There are other places though along the wall where there are no carbon fiber bits. Uh, the color is is fantastic. It's a deep black. Where it was on the print bed, it's very smooth. Um, the lines are, the lines are really true. Hmm. 
This is the three inch poo. Uh, I printed something else, just a moment. <laughs> Good day, sir. I printed this. This is my, the mustache and monocle that I got from Thingiverse. Uh, I put the link down in the description to how you can get your own. I printed this with 50% infill and the mustache itself, I don't know if you can see that, but it doesn't, it doesn't have a lot of flex. Uh, I still, I get some flex in the monocle and in the holder, but, but overall it is, it is much, much stiffer and much more rigid than a model, than this printed with PLA. Uh, again, I see some, some carbon, some little carbon fiber bits that are on the, the outer wall here. Nothing that, nothing that a, uh, a knife or a piece of sandpaper couldn't get off. They're not a problem. Um, boy, this is, this is sturdy. I could, this is sturdy. I could trust this with my kids. They, they wouldn't break this. All right, one more thing. This is the all-in-one platform jack from Thingiverse. And when I printed this within Simplify 3D, I, I, I set the model to 150% of its normal size just because I wanted to get something big. I wanted to see how it printed over a, a long-term print. And overall, I'm extremely satisfied with how it printed. So along this wall, it's, it looks like there was a mess up on this layer right here. But other than that, it's very, very, very true. That is a, that is a flat, a flat wall. And this is the Z axis. So it printed, it printed very well. The other wall uh, looks like the same layer messed up. Um, but overall, uh, nothing to worry about. It's flat. Uh, the bottom looks good. I did have a problem with this model in that, yeah, uh, <laughs> everything was pretty tight. And when I was turning this to free it up, it popped off. So again, the carbon fiber filament itself isn't stronger. It's just more rigid. So I can still, uh, I can still open this up so you can get a kind of get an idea of what it looked like. I don't know if you can see on the, see on the inside, um, but along the threads that got, that got printed, there are those carbon fiber bits that, that appeared every so often. And I think that played a role in this popping off. Um, I did get some silicone or silicon uh, lubricant. I got some silicone based lubricant and, and that seemed to, to make everything slide better. <laughs> go figure. The platform jack itself is able to go up and then it can, if I hold it, it will, it will maintain a load. And I think the rigidity would give it some added strength in being able to hold a load, but I don't think it would be too much more. Uh, I did notice that, let's see. So when it printed, it printed like this. It was like this. Um, I don't know if you can see on the inside, it looked like, um, some of the bridging that happened. Uh, I had the fan at 50% and it looks like 50%, I don't know, wasn't enough. Um, but overall, I'm very impressed with how this model printed and I can, I can fix this. It's, it wouldn't be a problem to drill through right here and attach this back and actually make a strong carbon fiber platform jack. One of the things that Form Futura told me that was pretty awesome is they said, we would like to give the subscribers of your YouTube channel a chance to get any of the products on our website at a discount. So, and uh, oh, here, do you like my phone case here? Yeah, I printed that. So here we go. If you would like 15% off of all products on the Form Futura website, you can use the code 3 dpn dash. FFT. Hopefully I, I put that on the screen right here somewhere. Uh, the link and the code will be down in the description. Uh, if you 
Form Futura produces a quality product, and if you'd like any of the products on their website, be sure to use the code 3DPN-FFT to get 15% off of your bill. Uh, they also wanted me to mention that it looks like their filaments will soon be available via Amazon.com here in the U.S. Hmm. That's kind of cool. One last thing. This box of Form Futura Carbon Fill is not opened. And in fact, I'm giving this away. That's right. Do you want this? Printing with this Carbon Fill was pretty exciting. It was a lot of fun. Um, the printer handled it well. I'd like for you to give it a shot. Let's see. I've got it. In the comments below, if you'd like to be entered into a contest to win this, just tell me what you would print with this. I would love to hear, I'd love to hear your ideas for what you would print with this roll. It is a, this is a full 500 gram roll of carbon fill material and uh, myself as well, a Forum Futura, they would love to see what you, what you guys could print with this. So um, I will, I will pick from the comments on November 1st, the one that I think best describes something awesome to print with this carbon fiber material. And then I'll get your information and, and I'll ship this out to you free of charge. Yeah, hey, win this. This is cool. This is really cool. All right, guys, well, that's my review of the Form Futura carbon fill material. Again, I printed with the 1.75 millimeter material. Uh, I happen to print it at 235 degrees Celsius, but it recommends anywhere between 230 and 255 degrees Celsius. The roll it comes on is a 500 gram roll. Um, let's see, using the code 3DPN-FFT at their website will get you 15% off of your order. And I think that's about it. Hey, thanks for watching. As always, please subscribe. It helps the channel. Leave a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. And as always, high five.